showing them all my office. Yeah, man. Call the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. We're going to give all praise to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem, Yahweh, Kodash. You know, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, shout out to the elect out there, man. You know, as a, as on schedule, you know, the Lord is allowing us to get the acts. And uh, we're pretty much um, past the halfway mark, if I'm not mistaken, acts about 26 chapters. So we, we're going to go into Acts the 17th chapter. It's going to get hot. More hot and juicy, man, so to speak. Right. When you go into the stories of the persecution that Paul was going to get because of what? Because he's going to seek the Gentiles. No more is he. No more. The story of the scriptures is fixed upon the so-called Jews. You know, the stories is going to be more faced upon the, uh, going back to that Gentile. Lo, we go go to the Gentiles, man. Right. You know, and why? Be, and it's all in the spirit. It's all relevant because that's the time that we live in. Right. Brother was talking about last week, the elder brother Monagai was talking about there was a camp being set up in Romania, man. Mm. You know? So you got different camps popping up left and right, and those are the ones that we know about. Right. Okay? We don't know about every camp, but when you go into the scriptures, you see that there was many camps all over the place in Asia Minor amongst the known world. Okay? Now, we, the world is much more known to where it's East Coast, West Coast, you know, or Eastern Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere. So the knowledge is going to be even more greater, man. And that's why it's imperative for us to go into things like this to further expound on what the scriptures is talking about. Because this is a mystery. You know? Uh, Precept, uh, <clears throat> this is Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. It says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Yeah, what, what are those winds talking about? Those winds are talking about the thermonuclear destruction. Now, the angels of the Lord are holding back the destruction. Why? Because the servants of our power are not being, are not all sealed yet. All right? Whether whether they are or not, you know, because Apostle Jarius, he would say he believes that whether they are or not, we know that one thing has to be done for sure is that what? America has to be destroyed. It has to be a remake on the earth. All right? Yeah, it has to be a redo on the earth. Okay, and that's why, like, like I said, going back into Acts, the 17th chapter, throughout Acts, there's such a big confusion. There's uproars, as we're going to go into. There was a lot of confusion. Why? Because the earth is out of, out of course during the time of Acts. You got to remember, Yahweh Shah was on the scene 2,000 years ago, right? Now, prior to that, okay, you're talking about, about what, 300, 350 years prior to that? What, that's when the Greeks came into power, and the Greeks... Jammed the whole world up. The Romans came into power and further jammed the whole world up, man. All right? So you got to look at it from that perspective of, you know, the time frame, the plot, when, who, what, when, where. All right? Revelation chapter 7, verse 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying. Right. That's, that same seal goes back to Mark 9 and 4. All right. I'm not sorry, not Mark 9 and 4. It's the water. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Same thing when you go into what Paul is going through in the book of Acts. It was basically basically Ezekiel 9 and 4 all over again. That's right. Going to the midst of the cities of Jerusalem. Right. It's a, the cities of Jerusalem, okay, or the city of Jerusalem. Okay, well, what, is, what has to be done? The marking has to be done, man. Right. The sealing has to be done. Now, we live in a time where, you know, of course, we have the internet. Things can go, the message can go out a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And you got imposters out there wanting to go on their travels, you know, meeting with certain people, broadcasting it, playing as the people in the scriptures. All you, but the Lord told us, look, hit the highways and the hedges, man. The main highway and hedge is the internet, man. That's right. All right. And if I'm saying it's true, um, you know, what the brother said is so true because <clears throat> now when you go back to uh, what you see with these other guys in these other camps, um, physically traveling to these places, uh, calling themselves, talking to the Gentiles, Israelite foreigners. And of course, we don't expect them to preach the true gospel. But it also happened in the book of Acts. Because remember, 
when the apostles were um, going to the Israelite foreigners, the, the scripture kept me mentioning certain Jews yeah, that yeah. would come and speak to the foreign, to the, uh, the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners. Yeah, that means we're going to bring it out. Right. At 17, so you had certain Jews that that did go to these places as well to spew a doctrine that was contrary to Paul's doctrine. You know, which is the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's right. That's right. Uh, it's Revelation 7 and 3. It says, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the seed nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. The only one that can do that sealing, okay, is a man, all right, that comes in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right. That's it. You know, that's it. All right. All right, let's bring it out. out. This is Acts 17 and 1. Now, when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where was a synagogue of the Jews. Right. Now, keep in mind, all those places that was just mentioned weren't not in Israel. Mm -hmm. But, however, what's the what is the plot? What is the setting? What is the location? You have a synagogue of Jews. Right. Now, it says a synagogue of Jews. Now, the synagogue was a place where people would come mainly on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. All right, and to come and worship, that was a gathering place. Now, outside of just the gathering place, they're in these cities. Guess what? People live within these cities, and the people that live within these cities go to this gathering place. Yeah, uh, like the brother said, why? Because the custom, but it shows you that what it, it went back to the customs. That's why even when. Um, you, you go back to the days of the Pentecost, what happened? You had Israelites or Jews living in uh, a foreign land that came back to the what? Came back to Jerusalem. So even like the brother said, even in those city, the custom was that, hey, even if you live in the city, you had to go to the main capital, wherever the synagogue was located, right? You had to go there and, and what? And, and, and partake, you know, partake in the teaching. Why? Because that's the Israelite way, man. Yeah. That's the Israelite way. The heathens weren't going over there. The heathens, they were doing their own thing. They were following the Greekish way. The Greekish way was not to go to the synagogue of the Jews. Man. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, we're going to get it. Let's go. That's the spirit. Go ahead. Huh? Verse 2, and Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scripture. Oh, 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 oh. they had the synagogue of the Jews reasoning with them. What time did it say? All right, read it again one more time. And Paul, as if you man, understand the scriptures and how time is dealt, then you, it's easy for you to answer that question. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, out. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them in three Sabbath days. Three Sabbath days, man. Mm -hmm. Three Sabbath days, that's a date. Those are the date. That's the, it gave you who, it told you when, mm -hmm. and it told you where. Mm -hmm. Okay? You have to identify these things. All right? Reason with them out of the scriptures. Opening and alleging that Yahweh Shai must need to And then also too, Salak, you, you got to keep in mind that what? The synagogue, that's where you would keep this. Like I said earlier, that's where you would keep the Sabbath service. All right, keep going now. Uh, that Yahweh Shai must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead. And that this Yahweh Shai whom I preach unto you is the anointing. And some of them believe and consorted with Paul and Silas. And of the devout now, Greeks. see, see, see. Now, people have to understand when you're understanding the scriptures. A lot of times, for instance, the Christians they say, they say, I'm gonna say it, Jesus Christ, right? Which we don't believe in that name, okay? And they say, oh, Jesus Christ, you know, like they they, they come out and say, like that's his first name and his last name. Like right? that's not his first name, nor is it his last name. And really, when you say, that's why we say Hamashiach Yahushai, the Anointed. Why? Because that rep the that that was a status. <laughs> like if you was announcing the king or you was announcing the priest, they would say, Oh, the priest Zadok. Okay, you oh the king David. Okay, it was a status. The the anointed Yahweh Shah. Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Why? Because it was already written in history that someone had to come out of the loins of David. All right, going even further back when Moses said it in the 18th chapter of Deuteronomy that someone was to come. So he's like, look, we found the anointed because this is the word. There was no internet back then. Time or no information didn't travel as fast. Mm -hmm. So this is new news to them. They don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But here it what? No. So you found the anointed? Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to get real heavy, man. It's going to get real heavy. Go ahead, huh? Verse 4, if some of them believe 
and consorted with Paul and Silas, and of the devout Greeks a great multitude, and of the chief women not a few. But the Jews, which believed not, moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd fellows of the base of sort. Right, let's look that up. Lewd. We gotta, we gotta look that up. Lewd fellows of the baser sort. Lewd is a uh, uh, baser. Yep. The word lewd means paneros. Paneros in the Greek, full of labors, annoyances, hardships. So basically, it's basically jakes that, you know, it's going to, now, go, go to the baser sort next, and it's going to explain it. Okay. I got some more. It said bad, uh -huh. of a bad nature or condition. Right. In an ethical sense, evil, wicked. Right, right. All right, now, to the ethical sense of evil or wicked, now go to the sword. Because ethics goes back to uh, conduct. Yep, morals. You know, and morals. So when you have, when you don't have good ethics, that means you're wet. That's another term, pretty much, Nick. Those are grimy niggas. Yeah. Yeah, 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 this is, well, that, see, anybody can be evil or wicked, but I want to get this part here, because this is how you know it's going to be niggas, right. let's see, let, let's see, because you got to get this part right here, because you got a lot of wicked out there, you got Esau, he's the wicked, you know, you got different wicked, but we want to identify in particular who this wicked people are, right. you know, the Strong's definition says, uh, uh, Agarels, Agarels, it says, um, Relating to the marketplace. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. These niggas is being wicked in the marketplace. All right? Now, I, I dare any one of you... Basically, there's a place... Where, something, one place should come up in your mind right now. All right? One place should come up in your mind right now. Lexington Market, man. It's the same fucking shit, man. It's the same shit. You got niggas out there selling merchandise. Look up, Go look up Lexington Market in, uh, in Baltimore, man. In the marketplace being wicked, man. That's our people. The brothers, uh, 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 Karak Zaba, the head brother up there in Baltimore, they did a documentary in front of Lexington Market. You got Jake out there. You got you got uh, uh, Muslims. You got uh, African niggas. You got niggas out there selling dope. You Right in front of this big-ass marketplace. When you go inside, you get a bunch of food. You got people selling T-shirts. You got more people selling merchandise. And who's all up in there? Jake. It's completely Jake. And what's what's going on in there? A bunch of different philosophies and traditions, man. Okay? People going back and forth and selling themselves, essentially, man. Yep. So All right? right? That's that's our people, man. All right? right. Forensic times by implication vulgar, base of sort, low. Yeah, man. The people that are just dwelling amongst the marketplaces, man. Because anywhere you go where Jake is, they don't really run the stores. Because even when you go amongst Lexington Market, it be good. It's gooks in there, and Jake is the one doing the trade out in the yeah. front, yeah. out in the about doing that shit, man. You know, that's why brothers, you always say, uh, Shaw Kasabi, you always talk about the Moabites that was that was amongst the Greeks. Because right. you had different people out there, man. That's right. That's right. We're not denying that. We're not saying it was all Israelites in these places. However, the bulk of these people that were in these places were Israelites. That's right. You have Chinese Americans. Uh, is, uh, well, no, you have uh, not Muslim, Arab Americans. Right. You have these different uh, things of Americans. So you, when it says Greeks, you know, I'm uh, not saying in certain parts of the scriptures, but sometimes you got to understand it was other nations that were, were Hellenized. But right. according to the New Testament, those people that were Hellenized was Israel. It's plain and simple. That's it. That's it. It's the same story. Right. Uh, precept. This is uh, <clears throat> Second Corinthians chapter 11. But 24, it says, of the Jews, five times received our 40 stripes, save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a, a night and a day have I been been in the deep. Verse 26, in journeying, in journeying often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 con, con, yeah, that, that's the spirit, you know, that's the spirit, because that's what this is going to lead up to, man, all right, and that's what the always the story really was, going back to what, King David, you know, we always bring out that scripture, Psalms 55 and 20, you know, about what, uh, 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 his words were softer than oil, but uh, 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 the, the war, the war was in his heart, that's right. you know, so hey, man, it's the same thing, all right, keep going, Acts 17, Verse 5, but the Jews which believed not, moved with envy, took unto them certain new fellows of the baser sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar, 
and assaulted the house of Jason and sought to bring them out of the people. Right. See, so basically you had the Jews who came together and, and basically started a riot, man. Right. That's essentially what they did. They went and got a bunch of knucklehead niggas, you know, and said, yo, we going to fuck up some, fuck up some shit. Now, you know, it doesn't say it, but you just put one and, right. one and two together, man. Right. What they do? They offered them some money, man. Like, yo, they done. Yo, man, look, we... You need to help us out real quick. Yeah, especially uh because <clears throat> they especially knew, the base of sort. Right, because they they knew um one thing that they knew they knew that if you wanted to condemn uh 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 Israelite you needed witnesses. That's why you see what uh, what Yahweh Shah um describes in the first he had to put money into uh, uh, uh niggas grimy loo fellows like they had put money in their pockets oh, so they could show good. up. They could show up as witnesses against Yahweh Shah. Right. Because they knew according to the law you must have what oh this they said um. Witnesses, you know, you must have one month for, month for two or three witnesses, right. every word shall be established. Right, so you gotta have witnesses. You can't just uh, accuse somebody of uh, doing something or breaking the law and there's no witness to it. You gotta bring the witness. So that's the reason why they always had that element of putting money in uh, people's pockets or Israelite pockets so they could be witnesses or false witnesses to a crime that was never committed, to a, a, a transgression that was never committed. And that's how you got, you know, the men of the Lord unjustly with the death or incarcerated. Yeah, that's why you, you you wicked Israelites is going to get it, man. Because you're basically doing the same thing now. All this information coming out, you know, which stuff we already knew through the spirit. But now you're, going to, now you're getting marked on a higher scale, man. You know, the most high is about to move on you wicked ass Israelites, man. Right. You know? It has to happen because the reason why, you know, through the spirit, you know, when you look at prophecy... And and you one thing about the Lord, like you say, he gave us prophecies and he told us some things that, that would happen before it happens. And and the timing of it, you know, we go on what what is the next right. stage? We believe through the spirit, the next stage is the civil war and the race war. So when the civil war and the race war kicks in, you know, in America, the, the, there's gonna be a major panic going on in the nation of Israel, and then you're gonna have an influx of Israelite souls seeking knowledge. Then we've been going about uh, second Ezra 5 when it says uh when it says that in one land shall ask the other shall uh, is righteousness that what hides itself and what hide of the sea. That's exactly what we're going through. So the Heavenly Father has to put certain distinct clear separations. You see, the separation was always already there, but it was only just spiritual separation, you know, to the point where only certain men of a certain spiritual level of the election can see that. Now, not all of the elect on the same spiritual level. That's why you have certain elects that actually have to see things go down in the physical manner. They literally have to see these wicked Negroes either get put to death, you know what I'm saying, have the, um, the feds move on them for all type of, uh, of barbary, you know, these you know, uh, evasion of taxes. Those things, Yahweh Bashir is doing that for the sake of the elects that are, have the spirit of Thomas, that must see before they believe, which that's a part of the truth as well, man. Come. Verse 7, whom Jason have received, and these all do contrary to the decrees of Caesar. See? That's the point right there. That's the point right there. That's it right there. Man. See? You see? You see? It's all about Caesar. It's the same thing. Man. Even though, you know, the same accusation, the same accusations and the same, uh, how can I say, the same um approach or the same manipulation, mm -hmm. same way of, same tactics, in those cities, they, that's the same thing he said in Jerusalem. Oh, damn, this is all coming together. We, it's going it's to further expound in more details on the circumstances back then. And the thing that makes it so much easier now is because we're seeing it. Right. All right, we see seeing those that are siding with Caesar. That's right. <laughs> and, 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 and also because... Uh, Y'all got to get in there, man. And, and, and also because... Um, like remember what the, the statement that these these new fellows said. They said in verse six that and they that found him not, they, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, "These that have turned the world upside down." Right, right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> and cut, and cut. you know what's the accusation against Great Millstone? All these other Israelite groups. Have this. If you would just look at the at, at the word of Israel oh, sure. from the outside oh, in, I'll get it. What do you see? You see the the multitude, the majority of these other groups are basically saying that what Great Millstone has turned the word of Israel upside down. 
Yeah. That's why they all agree on one thing, and we all we are just great millstone on one mm-hmm. on this end, and then all these other camp on this end. But check this out, because the majority of the people believe in the multitude, right? Remember, we live in what a democracy. It's all about what the who uh, the, the, the majority rules. So because the people are under the vibration of Edom Esau, which is the majority rules, although the scripture says, follow now the multitude of evil, they see what? The majority of the camps are aligning themselves. So therefore, that majority must be the true world of Israel. Mm-hmm. So if that majority says that, yo, that one group is turning everything upside down. Yo, I, yeah, yo, Khan, you know, Bob Bashar, yeah, this is heavy. Let me read this. This is uh, uh, Acts 18 and 12. It says, and when Gallio was the deputy of Achaia, the Jews made insurrection with one accord against Paul. This is Acts 18. This is the next chapter over, right? It says, and brought him to the judgment seat. Now, the thing about it, when you go into, it's the same thing. Just because they're in different cities, it's a government rulership. So they rule with the same authority because that's what they did to Yahweh Shai and John. When you read 18 and 19 chapter, they brought him to the judgment seat. Now the judgment seat, it's all fucked up, man. When you brothers get a chance, you go into a back of your Bible, or you look at uh, uh, on on a map, or you pull up the images of where the judgment seat was and what that represented. That basically represented a place where Herod, you bring you uh, the the the, pre, the top priest of that area will bring whatever conviction or whatever uh, crime fellow they will bring it to. A Herodian or, or or Roman. Yeah, transgressors. Yeah, that's why when you see through Paul his stages, he starts talking to Romans. Mm-hmm. He's not, when he's going to court. Mm-hmm. Jake was just the base. The Jews were the basic lower court, the municipality, if you will. That's, right. that's all they were. They were the municipality, state. and not even the state. No, nah, no, the no. Munici- municipalities. That's why I explained the to county, you. County, county. Now, well, I put it like this: It's different because, like for instance, out here. It, everything is ruled by a county. Yeah. In Jersey, everything is municipality. Yeah. Every place has its own police. Every yeah. place, every town has their own court. Yeah. And then you work your way up to the county. Like so, it's little pockets. Yeah. It's this little pockets. That's it. And it's jurisdiction townships. within townships. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's townships. And if I'm not mistaken, you still, um, you still couldn't. The, those those rulers, right on that lower level municipality. They still couldn't put an Israelite to death unless they told yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. the Romans. That's when it goes to bigger courts. Right, because they were uh uh because we were property of Rome. Yeah, the bigger the charge, the bigger the court. Yeah. You know, now the thing is now the whole scene, they, they charging them now, they're not charging them against the law. And that's why, matter of fact, let me read this right here. It says it says uh, uh it says against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuaded men to worship the most high contrary to the law. You see? Right. That's bullshit, though. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Now, the thing is, because their whole law and their manipulation is everything going through Caesar, man. Mm-hmm. That's the law to these people. Exactly. It's not the, it's not the law, Yahweh, me Shai. No way. They ain't break no laws. They, they just came back from Jerusalem for this big trip because of the law. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, you read verse 7 again. It, it tells you that's, like you said, that's where the twist is. Because right. they're being found as Israelites. We can see that. They're being found to be a bunch of demons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're talking about the decree of Caesar. What does the decree of Caesar have to do with, with our law statutes? Thank you. Matters? Thank you. And that's yeah. what we come in in the times of, man. That's the tip coming, man. It's the yeah. same thing. Who you worship? You want to worship Yahweh Bashmiel Shah? Or you want to worship the new Caesar? There ain't no fucking difference. It's the same system. It's the same system for the past 250 years, man. Yeah. And you know what that shows? That shows that just like, remember the term that we have coined. 2,500 years, Salakia. Uh, uh, Babylonian Israelites, meaning you right. have Israelites that look at the laws of the Mosai through the lens, through Edomite lenses. Yeah. You know? So that's the reason yeah. why they, yeah. they fall on exactly. things like wave. It's the same shit, man. Yeah. It's the same <laughs> it's like, shit. It's like, well, you say the Bible said this. The Bible says, wait, but hold up. You can't wait. Hold right. on, you're thinking, because, why would he say that? Because Esau Matthew 23 said. and 1. Matthew 23 right. and 1. And you're like, hold up. If the Bible says, if the Bible speaks about weight, and then the Israelite looks at it and says, well, you can't do it, what is he referring to? He's referring to Edom's laws. God, God, it's too easy. Yo, the Lord on, gave man. it to us. Bring it out. Yeah, Matthew 23 and 1. Then spake your house shot to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, 
the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Right, because that's where Israel will come to see uh, guidance and counsel. Right? So they being taught, basically the, the, the Jews at that time were teaching the people wrong. Damn, this is being more vivid. Go ahead. It says, all therefore, whatsoever they hit, whatsoever they did, observe. That observe and do. Yeah, that observe and do. Why? Because they call themselves keeping the law and things of that nature. Go ahead. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Yeah, for they say and do not. You know, the main reason I wanted to bring that scripture out is because that was the, it was like, for, for uh, Yahweh Shai to speak up against them like that, it was it would be a major uproar. You know, like, you know, just to say, oh, fuck the scribes and Pharisees. He didn't, he used it, he used God in telling them how to deal with them. Because he knew times like this would happen when they were still being ruled. Right. Yeah, I was, I was on a whole other level back then, man. But the right. things that he would know back then, we know now. And that's what people can't get. Yeah, we ain't out. We ain't out. Luke 23, verse 1, it says, And the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation. These are Israelites, man. Listen to this garbage. Right. right. We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar. What? What part of the law is that? Right, right, right. Because right. because remember they they they're saying they're putting a charge on him that what he's he's they're saying he is perverting Israel. Yeah, yeah. Why by, by stopping Israel from paying taxes to Esau. Yo, that's the five hundred one c three. Come on, man. Yo, this is the prosperity. Yo, what do they, they call five hundred one c three? No, no, no. But remember, the I U I C. The what? It's like the prosperity doctrine. No, no, but the, the, the means behind them getting the 501c3. It's something specific no, that Nate said. It's something specific that Nate said. Mm -hmm. You know? That he said he was like, uh 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 basically they saying, how can we further the gospel by not getting this? Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, it was yeah, so yeah, many. He says, yeah, he so, said something like so that. So to them, they're basically saying this is the way we're gonna prosper by dealing with Caesar within mm -hmm. that realm. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the yeah. same thing. You're not yeah. fooling us, man. Yeah, yeah. You can you can get on a plane and travel thousands of right. miles, but get with general butt yeah, naked. General, yeah, butt naked, talking about sacrificing and all that, getting flowers and all that other stuff. See, and but, right. See, and it, and it makes more sense. That's why I understand why Nate he said because if you watch the introduction to that shit, he said you got to remember Apostle Paul. He said you know, mm -hmm. see, oh you got to forgive and this that yeah, and the third. Yeah. But Nate, you ain't forgive nobody, nigga. You a fucking hypocrite. That's you right. ain't forgive the apostles. You ain't come out and open and, and say, look, uh, we, we kicked these men out for, yeah. uh, for, for uh, wrongdoings and things of that nature. So-called wrongdoings. I was wrong for that. That's right. But, right. but yet, but yet you gonna you gonna forgive this guy though. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you you feel the pride. It's, it's, it's theater. It's theater. That's all it is. It's theater. But it's coming to an end though, because remember. The Heavenly Father, before the Heavenly Father moves on, on Jake, he has to reveal things. You know, so these things are being revealed to us, and really we're being witnesses. Because the Heavenly Father applies the same thing. The Lord is just not going to just take you out. The Heavenly Father is also going to set up witnesses. we being witnesses to your transgressions against the Lord by him revealing it, and then he's going to put you to death. That's how the Heavenly Father moves. He, that's his law. That's how he operates. Just like he requires witnesses. To, for you to, you know, for, uh, for a man to be put to death, he's also going to bring forth witnesses before he puts you to death. Yeah, yeah, and, it's and that's that, that's us, or that that's why you uh, that spirit had you read uh, 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 Revelations. What's that seven? Yeah, yep. you know why? Because those are the witnesses. Right. So when all the witnesses are sealed, that's your ass. Right. Let me read this real quick. Huh. Uh, First Timothy huh. chapter five, verse twenty-four. So men's sins are open beforehand, going before to judgment. Damn. And so men follow after. Yeah, because the most high exposes you first, then he, right. puts, he lays you out. Right. Yeah, because if he doesn't do that, then of course men is going to question his ways. Right. You know, the Heavenly Father is righteous, so he has to, he has to show, you know, of, of course us, when the Heavenly Father puts a man to death, you know, like we understand, we know the Heavenly Father is righteous. But he's still gonna go through that process, you know what I'm saying? Because he's all righteousness. He's gonna go through that process, expose you, have witnesses. So then, when you get put to death, you know, guess what? We say, "Oh, that was a righteous judgment or righteous kill." Yeah, because not it wasn't good enough for us to know, you know, the so-called, uh, you know, um, you know, the things that we've seen in the dark, if you will, about Comfy, you know, Jermaine Grant. 
the things that we knew about that, like we know way back, the things mm -hmm. that we assume, mm -hmm. you know. Now the Lord is just saying, "Here, look." It is facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. But many witnesses. It's coming out, man. It's a beautiful thing. Let me finish on a loop, a loop, and then we go back to Acts. Right. Start one. All right, Luke 23 and 1. And the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is the anointed a king. That's right. And it's, a, it's amazing how they played it because they think it's right, cool. You know what? He's saying things that are contrary to what, quote, 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 what they believe Moses is saying. Basically, in their mind, it was like, well, you coming against Moses. But that was not the case. They just didn't understand that Moses was saying, and was saying the same thing. But see, they was like, okay, we know, Pilate, we know you don't really care about our laws. But check this out. He's also coming for your law. Yeah. He doesn't want to pay taxes. You ain't going to let this shit happen? That's the mindset of these fucking niggas, man. They knew Pilate didn't give a shit about our laws. But they knew he gave a shit about that, that, that law, though, because Pilate had to report to uh, Tiberius. He had to report to Tiberius, if I'm not mistaken. So they had to, he had to make sure that money was coming in. Then he was gonna, then I was gonna move Pilate to move on your house shop. Man. And you don't want, you want to execute any signs of uh, revolt. That's right. So as you set, as you smell revolt, you kill that shit. Right. He Jake is known for rebelling. Yeah. That's why I should say suffer not a witch to live. Right. Man, you don't need no witness to kill a witch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> he yeah. says suffer not a witch, a witch to live. Yeah. I mean, don't even allow that motherfucker to be breathing anymore. Right. You know it is witchcraft. Yeah. The heavens, you basically made the heavens. The heavens, because you're in another realm. You talk about you're in another realm. Mm -hmm. Boy, come on, I come on. It says, And Pilate asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answered him and said, Thou saidest it. Then said Pilate to the chief priest and to the people, I find no fault in this man. Yeah. Hey, Pilate said he found no fault in, in your house shop. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, listen, they had an agenda. You know, these wicked, the, the two-thirds, it's the same spirit. They had an agenda, and we know what's going on, man. You can call the name of your whole body in your shop, but we know that your intention and your doctrine shows that you really have disdain for your house shop. And it's just being shown right now, man. You guys are here. Come. Verse 7, again, whom Jason have received, and these all do contrary to the decrees of Caesar. Saying that there is another king, one Yahweh shot. And they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. And when they had taken security of Jason and of the other, they let them go. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. See, the most high did, did an order at Kao. You know, he basically caused the chaos to happen to go mm -hmm. seal some other men. Mm -hmm. See how they got them do they, they the spirit was on them to uh get them up out of you know, get them up out of dodge, mm -hmm. you know, because they was heads of the church. They had to we had to hold them down, you know. That's a main that's a powerful thing that you said, uh Shaw, because um the order of KO really is something that Esau is trying to get out of the most high because like the brother said, like when all hell example, when all hell breaks loose, that's chaos is coming. But the Heavenly Father is going to finalize the order and seal it as a leg through that chaos. You're going to have men still being sealed. Because think about it. The Lord said keep your garments until the end. You know, paraphrasing. So that means even though even at, uh, all hell is breaking loose and people are dying, the word of the Lord is still going to be wet. It's going to be taught. And guess what? Guess what? When all hell breaks loose, I can, the word of the Lord is going to be taught in an even more efficient way. Because now it's going to be, you know, it's going to be man to man interaction. The Lord is not just, it's not going to be like it is right now when we go out in the highways and the edges say open. It's open. Anybody can come in, a two third or a whole full of leg, and he can pass by. In them days, the Lord is going to put the spirit on us, just like back in the ancient times, and tell us exactly where to go. It's going to be, you go to that household, the spirit is leading you to that household. And you know exactly who you're going to meet when you get there. Well, Scripture talks about the family of the Lord. Right. So you're not going. The Lord is The Lord is not going to send you to a two-thirds house. The Spirit of the Lord is going to guide you to go to households, what, elect households to be sealed. 
So the word is going to be taught in an even more efficient way, man, in, in the midst of chaos. And that's, man, that's, that shows that Heavenly Father is the originator, the originator of everything, man. Even the order of chaos, man. Verse 11, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. You become noble for me, Raksha? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, man, that, that's beautiful, man. You know, because that's what it's about. It's about diligence, man. You know, hey, man, that's like the GMS scripture, man. You can't take that away, right. you know. And it said they owe. Oh, Another thing is, you said that they search the scriptures daily. Now, when you go into that scripture, real quick, hey, uh, I want look up, uh, go to uh, Revelations one and one and three. And then, now, give me a blue letter on his brother. Yeah, slide. Gotcha. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, bring it up. Bring it up. All right, it's noble. It says, uh, well born, i.e., literally high in rank or figuratively generous. More noble, noble. That's it? Yep. Uh, you look there at um, Blue Leg? Yeah, that was Blue Leg. Try, try at him online real quick. Yep. See what it says. Because, oh, you know what? It's, it's crazy. Um, You know, brothers that watch uh, uh, football, right? Uh, this is the Jake uh, plays for the New England Patriots. His name is Julian Edelman. Now, the word Edel out of the man Edel means noble. So, the Julian, the noble man. That's, you know, one of the reasons you know he's Jake. Go ahead, brother. What does it say? It says, illustrious, distinguished, worthy of honor or respect. Mm -hmm. yep. Well known, famous, renowned, excellent, superior, splendid, high born of superior birth. Mm -hmm. yep. But in that nobility birth. right there, it, it wasn't really as far as superior birth. That nobility right there is talking about the same, because they had the same type of uh, skill that our uh, member, uh, who said, uh, uh, Acts. Uh, um, the, oh, uh, about no, 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 no. Uh, uh, the one was uh, uh, from Alexandria, uh, who was an Edelman Apollos? in Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Apollo, yeah, Apollos. Yeah, Apollos. Apollos. But Apollo said that's that type of nobility that it's talking about. Well, you know, no, 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 about, no, 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 because right, right. it's it's a they're basically of the elect. That's why. That, right. that, that's what the because when basically if you're of the elect, you're born into nobility. Right. Because in order to be a noble, you have to come from a specific line. So if you could, the line that we come from is the line of the firstborn. That's right. the that's what it's talking about, and that's why they were so attached. Real quick, let me, real quick, God, let me get uh, Revelations one and three. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. bring, bring 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 that out. Bring go to the word. Uh, uh, bring it out. Bring out the word. Read. Yeah, uh, Revelation one and three it says, "Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand." Yeah, blessed is he that readeth. Uh, go ahead, uh, bring out the word reader. Uh, and the word for reader is uh, uh, anagenosko. Right. Uh, to distinguish between, to recognize, to know accurately. To know accurately. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the thing is, in order to know accurately, you still have to read. Right. You still have to go into the scriptures. And that, it's a perfect marriage. You got to start pushing. I was dwelling on this earlier. You got to start pushing more. Just the belief aspect. You know, of course, you know, the knowledge is going to go with it, but you got to believe these words, you know? And now, in order for the ones that believe the word, are they of the first fruit? It's a natural marriage. That's, right. That's all it is, man. It says uh, right. that they received it with all readiness. We're all readiness of mind. That's what I'm saying, because it was, all, it was natural. It was, a, it, was a, it was a magnet. Now, right. if you're not receiving this, if you're not reading this and receiving this with a readiness of mind, mm -hmm. you know where you're going to get it. It's not for you. That's right. All right? To, to acknowledge. Acknowledge. Right. To acknowledge. Yeah, right. Yeah, part of uh, it's a, Real quick, it's a part of putting on that crown. That's right. You know? That's all it is, you know, because that's what nobility is. That's right. You know, with nobility, you wear a crown. You know, uh, uh, like what they portray from people in England, the royal family, so to speak. A, a nobility, that's what that is, you know. Right. Uh, aristocrats, that's another uh, word, you know, that you can use, right? You know, but the ones that the elect are aristocrats, so right. especially on 144,000, right? Yeah, over yeah. over the, um, the right. rest of the one third, yeah. yeah that, that's the main, that's the main one, those that's are the right. cause those are the ones whose minds are married into the scriptures. Right. The one third is going to get in by believing, right. you know, like for instance, the guy, the man that was on, on the cross. You know, uh, with, uh, next to Yahweh Shah. Okay. 
The male fact, he just believed. Right. You know, he wouldn't go out and teach and be diligent about anything. He just believed. You know? Right. Right. It says verse uh, verse 12, Therefore many of them believed also of honorable women which were Greeks and mm -hmm. of men, not a few. Yeah, honorable women that were Greeks. You know, they were Israelites. All right? That's all it was. They were Israelites that were in that Greekish fashion, man. But they believed. They, oh, oh, this makes sense. It's like that older woman that confronted the eyes of Yeah. Type like that. Right. You're going to have a lot of that, too. And hey, man, there's no secret, you know. You know, the spirit had it to where I went into, you know, I, I ran into two Israel, uh, Israelite women that are from ICJGC, mm -hmm. right? And it, just and they, what they told me, basically, it's really the woman that's in there being diligent and on, but the men is just backstabbing this, backstabbing this down the third. Mm. You know, it's like, it, it's the men, it's the, it's the council, the council of the wicked, man. It's a wicked council. The men are amongst the council. You know, women are, they groupies, oh, this looks nice. You know, they when they just went, oh, you know, it's flashy. It looks good to them. But, yeah. they, you know, because you got some conscious woman, if you will. You know, women that, you know, they care about their people. And they yep. find out something like this. Oh, this makes sense. I ran into plenty of women like that, man. That's right. That's right. Plenty of women like that, man. They hate the white man. They, they, they hate the so-called white man. They just, you know, that, that's what it boiled down to. Yeah, yeah. that's what it boiled down to. They believe it says uh, right. honorable, honorable women. You know why? Because you have uh, dishonorable women. You know? Yeah. And, and that means they were in order. And that's another thing too. Like and that's how you know the be the beginning stage of the beginning stages of you knowing that a woman believes is how does she how does she feel when you bring out scriptures about the order between a, a Israelite man and an Israelite woman? How does she react to that? Her reaction to that order to kind of let you know already where her mind is at. That's just okay. You that's know, that's, that's what I'm uh, you uh, you on point. No, no, that's heavy. You said that. That's heavy. You said that. I just say that, you know, I'll tell you later, everything, everything. Yeah, hey, because remember yeah, when we was yeah. out, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pilgrims, we was out uh, Wednesday, Yeah. when we brought out the order, you see that nigga one with the blonde hair. Right. Because she's a dishonorable woman. Right. The way she reacted to that right. was like, no, I got to go against that, although it's coming straight out of the book. Because the was shy is coming with authority. That's why, we, that's why yesterday I even said that, man. Brothers got to, you know, be pushing as if you of the elect, man. That's right. You got to be right. moving and conducting as if you, you of the elect. That's right. There ain't no other way. That's right. You got to be moving with authority within your means. That's right. <laughs> you know? Uh, verse 13. But when the Jews of Thessalonica had knowledge that the word of Yahweh was preached of Paul at Berea, they came thither also and stirred up the people. And then immediately... The brethren sent away Paul to go, as it were, to the sea, but Silas and Timotheus abode there still. And they that conducted Paul brought him unto Athens, and received Salaki, and receiving a commandment unto Silas and Timotheus, for to come to him with all speed they departed. Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was stirred in him. When he saw the city wholly given to idolatry. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. kind of, you want to speak on it, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just asked, brother, if you don't mind if you look up the word holy. holy it said uh, holy, holy given to idolatry. Because huh. you know, that was the main issue. You know, that's the main issue because it goes back to the first commandment. You know, the first commandment says that what? Thou shalt not have any other power, you know what I'm saying, besides your house by Shemel Shut. You know, and that that's the reason why when it came down to it. Uh, Apostle Paul and all the men of the Lord, when they, the first thing they mentioned to the Israelite foreigners is what? You got to stop idolatry. Yeah. You got to stop idolatry. A spiritual fornication. That's right. That's, right. That's where you start. If you, you, you can't, you can't go nowhere as long as you still got those idols that you got behind your bed or under your bed or, or set up in your, in your, uh, 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 Countertop, yeah, yeah, like you have a shrine. Right. You know, Jacob have shrines in their whole yeah, house, man. Yeah, a whole yeah, altar. Yeah. Jacob have a whole altar in their house. Back like then, it was obvious. You like know what? Jacob put the front of right. their, their house and everything, man. Yeah. 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 yeah, they still do. They still do. Yeah, they still yeah. do. They put they, they put Mary and Joseph yeah, and yeah. so so called. They they still do that shit, man. You know, yeah, man. But well, anyway, yo, you know that's heavy. You said that because idolatry is like you know it's a stronghold in your mind mm -hmm. because it takes away the authority. Of Yahweh Shah. That's right. You know, because in order to move with that authority, you gotta take away that idolatry and whatever it is, and we still do it every day to this day. Mm -hmm. It's not because we these bodies are some shit. Yeah. You know, we all we, we always looking at different things and you know and, and, oh 
you gotta know, you know, put it away. Yeah, you're you know, right. you're right. Like that, what you said is so true. But uh, basically, what you're saying is uh, we idolize shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we gotta, and we gotta gym. remind ourselves that hey, man, that shit ain't got no fucking weight. <laughs> it ain't got no substance. Nah, nah, Why nah. am I giving myself to this so much? You know, nah. you, you sometimes you know you catch yourself talking to a woman. And is she trying to drag you through her? And you're like, hold up, man. Why am I dedicating my time <laughs> to this bitch like that? Like, she's not, you know. I'm like, hold up. This starting to look like I'm idolizing this bitch. You know what I'm saying? She throwing me a little bone and I'm chasing like a dog. That's idolizing. And the scripture says, anything that you idolize is worship. That's why woman. You want someone to make me laugh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Let me read this one real quick. Right? Mm -hmm. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Verse uh, 2. For you know what commandments we gave you of the Lord our child. For this is the will of your how, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification mm -hmm. and honor. Yeah, that's, that's heavy. Because you, you are a vessel. Mm -hmm. You know, a vessel, you know, a vessel. A vessel was used for a lot of different things, and mainly, you know, a lot of times a vessel was used for, um, I don't want to say decoration. Well, yeah, it said, yeah, decoration to hold up. You put it in the front of your window. Now, if you don't take care of that vessel, you don't, you don't want to display that vessel. You know, a vessel was like a pot, pan, you know, something, a cup, anything, or a vase. Those, yeah. those are vessels. Yeah. Think something that carries something. Yeah. Yeah. Vessels have a, a, a purpose. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the purpose. And uh, yep, yep. Yeah. And possess. Sheesh. People said possess your, uh, possess your what? Uh, and, uh, and your patience possessing your souls. Right, possessing your souls. Why? Because remember, when you're not possessing your soul, that means you're giving away your soul. Right. And that's when you get idol worship. You know, and that's when you're giving away your soul, which we are, as we possessing our souls, we're supposed to give away our souls to what? Yahweh Shemel Shah. Because that's that's what it means to idolize. I mean, you know, like I said, the word idol. Gets thrown around because of the unbalance of this world. The word idol gets thrown around only on the left hand side. Not understanding, we supposed to idolize Yahweh Hashem Al Shah. Yahweh Hashem Al Shah is our idol. You know what I'm saying? When we possess our soul, we possess our souls away from what the other idols. Yeah. But we give away yeah, our yeah, souls yeah, to uh, Yahweh uh, Hashem Al Shah. Chapter, that mm -hmm. verse and get the word idol. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. I got a quick precept. Yep. Uh, this is Matthew 26. 41, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is, is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, like the brothers is going into uh, watching out for temptation. You know, this flesh is weak. You get entangled with these uh, these, these uh, fleshly desires right. that hold us back from doing certain spiritual things. That's right. That's the truth. That's, That's the truth. How's here? You got it? Yes, sir. We got, we got, you know, we don't have to go into that real quick. Being you know, as said, you know, that's, that's a lot, you know, for Jake. Yeah, yeah. You know, but but that's that's we have to. You yeah, know because you can't. One thing, one thing that you can't do if you want to progress in the truth. Seven. You know, if you want to progress in the truth, you gotta you gotta be able to understand that the heavenly Father is a balance, a power that deals with everything in twos. You know, and that's right. why we be going into the idolizing and the image. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I, can't, I said they can't the other day. There's a reason why you got an image in Genesis, and then you got a different image in Revelation. Because at the end of the day, that's what it comes to down four. to. You got to go to four. You know? At the end of the day, it comes down to two images. The image of Genesis the image. and the image of uh, Revelation. You know? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. no, I Speak loud, brother. Yeah, call. Yeah, um, it says, um, I will image. Yeah. What was the um, the word that you looked up? And then the scripture. Oh, uh, this is the uh, 20, uh, image. 20, image. 20, image. Yeah, image. Yeah. Yeah, idol. What's the definition for? He said idol, image. Oh, okay, okay. No, pull up. Go up, pull up. Right here. Right here. Go up. More. It says carved the image. An idol. It's good to look that up on the Edelman line. Yeah, yeah. And look up uh, 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 idol uh, uh, Adam on that. It's very important. I mean, hey, that's why the Heavenly Father always speaks about 
um, and I will bring down your grave, your grave, your graven images. Why? Because the Heavenly Father already has his, he already had his graven images. Like I, I always bring forth, like the altar, the altar in which, you know, your, uh, the land would get cut. That was, that was a, that was an image. That was an image right there. But that's the image that we supposed to worship. The altar of Yahweh Hashem Yashah, which back then that was physical, the physical altar, but now the spiritual altar is what? When we go on the highways and the edges, right? And we, what do we do? We chop up this lamb right here, spiritually, which the lamb is Yahweh Shah, which is the word. We, we chop up, we, 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 we slice uh, 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 the lamb's throat so that, the, so that what? The lamb can bleed upon the people. And that blood is what? It's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the word. So the, the, the Levitical priesthood, as it was going down in the physical manner, is still happening now. But remember, under the order of Melchizedek, we are all priests. We are all able to do what? To, to do that, uh, 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 that uh, priestly sacrifice. Uh, sacrifice. Hey, you know? uh, um, idol. Image of a deity as an object of pagan worship. Mm -hmm. um, but see that? That's, that's what the Edom, that's Edom online. Because the word has only been used on one end, immediately, what do they do? They say, well, it's an image of pagan worship. Well, hold up. The scripture, if he's saying it's an image, the scripture clearly says in Genesis that what? We should make men according to our image. So idol can be used on what? The left-hand side or the right-hand side? It's not one, it's not a word that only applies to one, one case. Right. Uh, Latin. Idolum. Mm -hmm. Image. Uh, it says, um, form, especially apparition ghosts. Used in church Latin for false god image of a pagan deity as an object of worship. It's all of a sudden it's just wrong. Yeah, <laughs> see, it's all left. It's all left hand. It's all wicked. It's all idol means pagan worship. No, idol means image. And like I said, you got the image in Genesis. And then you got the image of Revelation. The image of Revelation, which is the image of the beast, which is really the system and the belief, the ways of Edom Esau, that's the idol we ain't supposed to fuck with, man. That's what we need to possess our souls away from. That image. But we're supposed to give away our souls to the image of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. We're supposed to idolize Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. Plain and simple. One more. Uh, it says, uh, this is from Greek. E I Dolan. Uh, e I Dolan. Mm -hmm. Mental image, apparition, phantom, also material image. It's a statue. And you see, you see when it says mental image, right? That's why I remember what I said when we was out. When you know when we got that image of Yahweh Shah, you know, we, you know, guys attack the image or well, that's y'all y'all worshiping Yahweh Shah. How do you know? Hold up, didn't it say mental image? Yes. Yeah, so so right. when Yahweh Shah gave us his description, there's a reason why he gave us certain parts so we can have a mental yeah, image. Yeah. So it's yeah. the scriptural to have that sign up there that say, yo, this is the closest. Description of Yahweh Shaka. This is a mental image. Yeah, it's because it, 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 it comes with an aura, it comes with a vibration. Yeah, you come see, on, man. you have that image in your head, and you portray something totally different. Yeah. The, the whole approach is yeah. different. It changes everything, man. Well, when you think about the prophecy, you think of Yahweh Shaka coming back. What image do you have with the Lord coming into the cloud? You need right. an image. You need yeah, a mental yeah, image. Yeah, you, that gives you hope. Yeah. You know? that, yeah, that gives you hope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see some yeah. fucking rock star come down. <laughs> Yeah. With roses, yeah. Yeah. damn, it's over. <laughs> yeah, right. right. When the scripture talks about you know speaking the same thing, you know? right. When you look at the uh, Habakkuk, it says, uh, right. "Last days, prophecy shall speak." Yep. So you gotta speak according to what the prophecy says. Right. right. You know, you're not speaking according to the words of prophecy. It means that you know you don't have the truth. Right. It's, that's why the scripture said, "Write the vision." Plain upon tables. What's the right. vision? The vision is the word. And the vision gives us a mental image. That's yeah. the reason why every time the record. What right, every time we speak about um, um, the thermonuclear missiles, we actually, as we speak, and we are actually, we have we have mental images of these things flying and hitting America, and pockets of of uh, 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 what it says. Oh, uh, uh, when it uh, it's, uh, uh, the, 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 the the mushroom, the mushroom cloud. When the scripture says, you scroll know, the cloud scroll. rolling as a scroll, you get a mental image yeah. of a mushroom cloud. Although you have not physically seen a mushroom cloud, you get a mental image, yeah. which is part of what? Idolizing, which yeah. is part of the image of the idolizing how about you? Yeah, man, shot. Come on. Yeah, 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 you see yeah, the people yeah. screaming. And, you know, hey, all come on, man. Things, man. Man, the ax. Come, verse 17. Therefore, disputed he in the synagogue 
with the Jews and with the devout persons and in the market daily with them that met with him. Russia, can you look up devout in 17? The word devout. Means to revere, to worship, adore, devout, religious worship. Is that? Mm -hmm. So it says, and, uh, uh, verse 17 it says, Therefore disputed he in the synagogue with the Jews and with the devout persons, meaning persons were, uh, were what? That were uh, 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 looked in high regard, if I'm not mistaken. You got to read that again? Pious, basically. I'm religious. Religious. Etymology. Yeah, right. religious. Pious, yep. Given up by vow, devoted. Yeah, yeah, they were diligent. Right, they were diligent in searching, well, not only uh, uh, on the world, but different different things. Because it gets into, you know, some of the things they were getting into. Uh, verse 18, uh, then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and of the Stoics encountered him. And some, and some said, what will this babbler say? Others some, he seemeth to be a setter forth of strange gods. Because he preached unto them Yahweh Shai in the resurrection. Right. Philosophers, of course, lovers um uh, uh, wisdom of the Epicureans. You got uh, Epicureans, you look that up, rough shot right quick. Epicureans and Stoics. More Epicurean, a helper, defender. Oh, that's the meaning of Epicurean. It says belonging to the sect of Epicurus, the philosopher. Right, so you have their follow. They follow Epicurus, the philosopher, and whatever belief he had, they actually bought into it. Remember, these are Israelites. These are Israelites' followers of It was basically do as that will. Right, do as that will. That's what they were. They, the, the Epicureans, they, they would do as that will. Do what you want to do. Like uh, they, there's, no, that, there's, no, there's, no, there's no there's no, rule over your life. It's quality. That's the quality. Essentially, quality. They, they, uh, they had two beliefs. One, they believed that they either believed that there was no... That there was a God, yeah. but he didn't have a uh, he didn't have control of your life. Right. Oh yeah, 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 or, yeah. Or or the second one was that there was no God, you just control your own life. That's the thing. Like, that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Basically, do as thou wilt. Because with the Epicure, you got like just you got that same format in the everyday streets today. Yeah. You know, yeah. you got but then but then you go into the Stoics is going to explain. It's the same shit. It's the same. It, there's nothing new. Basically, they were basically street masons. That's all they were. Yeah. Well, they were the street masons. And basically, yeah. the five percent is the same yeah, yeah. shit. It's the knowledge. same shit because you got some of them that believe in the creator, but you yeah. still control your own way. But then you got yeah. some of them to say, "I'm God," and they don't have and, and they control their own way. But Let's do as thou wilt. That, that's yeah. exactly uh, what you see on what's that? Uh, Black News uh, one or two, whatever. You know what? Uh, uh, Sardinetta Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah. Different dudes with different doctrines. The other Some day, of them are more, but you don't really see five percenters up there. They, they don't. They're more like Stoics. Them mm -hmm. dudes is more like Stoics. Five percenters is oh, that's your cipher. That's the way you are, and that's mm -hmm. like a real like religion in yep, the streets. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Now, one of the things I want to bring forth of uh, the last episode that I had seen on Black News, uh, that Black News channel, Sarnetta, he had this dude called Shabazz, this old nigga yeah. Shabazz, and he came and the first thing he said was, "The Earth weighs." Six, he said, six billion tons and whatever quadruple. He came with a number, and then Sarnetto, you know, immediately was like, "But man, how do you, how do you, how do you weigh the Earth?" And he was like, "Oh, I got this knowledge from so and so and so, and can nobody debate that knowledge to this day? There's not a person on the Earth that can debate that knowledge." I'm gonna like, hold up. How are you supposed to debate a knowledge in which there is no accurate standard? Like there is no, okay, this is the number. And you kind of close to it. Who judges the weight of the earth? But he spoke with confidence that this is what the weight that the earth weighs. When the scripture said the heavenly father is has got the earth what hanging on on nothing. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm with the water, y'all watching y'all <laughs> shot. Because look, man, yeah, yeah. You got that's the niggas. They tell y'all far the sun is from the from the moon and all hey, this man. other bu bugged out crazy shit. But anyway, you know, you uh you got the other one for Stoics. Yeah, because they were more, they were more. Do as thou wilt more loose. The Stoics, just let the brother get it. But Stoic, as occupying a particular porch in Athens, i.e., adherent of a certain philosophy, Stoic. Uh, so the last word, yep. 
Yeah, it's essentially the Stoics. They were more like they were more like Muslims, if, if you will. They, they, you, got, you got the yeah, animal line? Huh? Is that animal? Nah, nah, nah. You got animal. Yeah, yeah, go got ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It says, uh, all right. So Stoic, uh, spelled S-T-O-I-C, uh, late 14th century philosopher of the school founded by Zeno. See. From Latin Stoics. They had standards. They had rules. Yeah. The Stoics had rules. Like, you couldn't just do whatever mm. to be a Stoic. They were very particular and meticulous. That's why I said they're more like Muslims. Because Muslims, it's the same shit. Same shit. Mm -hmm. well, you got to break five times a day. You got to yeah. wear rules. It's rules. Yeah. 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 It's rules. Yeah. And that's yeah. what Jake in the street adheres to. Because these are yeah. niggas. Yeah. Yeah. These are niggas. Yeah. That's what yeah. Jake adheres to. Yeah. This, yeah. Is the, this is It's the same. Nothing new under the sun, man. Right. You know? Right. Nothing new under the sun. They're more religious, that's all it is. It says, uh, Greek Stoicos pertain to a member of or the teaching of the school founded by Zeno. Uh, so it has uh, 3, 3, 4, 3, um, 334, circa 262 BCE. That's, that's short, right? The, the, the Greeks came into power, 323? Mm -hmm. If I'm not yeah. mistaken? Around, around, around 330, around, 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 around 332, or something like that, yeah. It's, it says, characterized by austere ethical doctrines. Yep. Ethical. Yeah, ethical. Ethical. Yeah. Everything yeah. has austere. to be austere. 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 And strict. Yeah. And strict. Yeah. Um, you know? Literally pertaining to portico from store, port, uh, porch, specifically store, uh, old, my cow. It goes into some, but it says, the painting, the painted porch, the great hall in Athens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, I got a precept. This is our first Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty. It says, "Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Has not the heavenly Father, how about Shimei Shah, made foolish the wisdom of this world?" And now, when you look up on um, another version of that scripture, it says, um, first Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty. It says, "Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the philosopher of this age?" Right. You see that. So this version right here, it, it you know, it, it, yeah, because remember, it, it, that's what's powerful about this, because in this version, they tell you that the word world here is age. age. Right. Right. You know, you see that? So it's not a mystery. It's not something that we made up when we say, hey, listen, there's three different types of world, man. Bro, the scripture on, said man. that these, these men turn the world upside down. Yes. What is that talking about? Right. Come on, fams. <laughs> Sea World, Disney World, actually, didn't Fat Boy go there just now? Right, right. Tyler Black, yeah. Then he just uh, go to Disney Disney World, or some shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was all in an indictment. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but why would he? Well, see, Disney World, Disney actually Walt Disney is one of the yeah, high, top witches. High, yeah, he's a witch. Why would you want to take warlock. your children there? High, That's wicked as hell. Warlock. I mean, you go back to some of this Disney thing. Animated Disney, and you look at some of the shit that was hitting it, hitting in those things. We didn't even notice. We were oh, children yeah, yeah, watching yeah. this stuff, and it was just like what? what we was absorbing, you, absorbing this shit, man. You find shit like erected penises out of you, like oh shit. So the, yeah, it was an erected penis with a mermaid. What is an erected penis doing with a mermaid? At the at the time, we were like nine years old watching this stuff, man, because they were pushing that wickedness, man, that that witchcraft, man. And then you go over there, you're supposed to be. <laughs> God sent comfort. Oh man, God in Disney it. World. <clears throat> How's a black corner? Okay. Acts 17 and verse 18. It says, uh, "This certain philosophers of the Epicureans and of the Stoics encountered him, and some said, What will this babbler say? Others some, he seemeth to be a setter forth of strange gods, because he preached unto them the how shy in the resurrection. And they took him and brought him unto Areopagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is. For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. Right, if I'm not mistaken, Areopagus was on um, Mars, Mars Hill. Hill. Yep. Which is which Mars represents war. Right. And the Mars. hill, yeah, yeah, hill, that was the top, the top place. Mm -hmm. So that's where everybody got together and went to war, man. Right, because you know? remember, before you went to war, you would have a council. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know, you know, right, right, right. I get what you're saying. As well. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, they were they weren't about to go to war. That was the war. Yeah, like, right. You know, right, a debate. Like, yeah. that was a war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. It says, 
verse 21, for all the Athenians and strangers. Now remember mm -hmm. when Paul pulled up on the scene, it was uh remember they said that Athens was a whole full, holy full of idolatry. Mm -hmm. And when you go into the images of it, when they show you like the, the depiction, first of all, when you go into Mars Hill, it's basically like a um how can you explain? It's like a mountain, yeah. but then on top of everything, you got all the idols, but your boat comes in and then it pulls in a sail. And so when you look, as soon as because when it says it yeah. says it when you yeah. when you read it, as soon as he pulled up yeah, on ship, big and it, big. It, it, no, it was it was it, they said it was um just like if a brother can get that scripture, the uh, um the cities of Judah, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, as many as people. As it, it, oh, it, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, what yeah, Athens. Yeah, that's mouth, what Athens was. You know, the they said, in fact, when you go into the research, that in Athens it was probably more. If I, if I remember oh, correctly, yeah. it's probably more uh, idols than people mm. in, in Athens. That's yeah, a, the Athenians are right. That's why I'm not surprised we go into this whole idol thing yeah, leading yeah, up yeah. because this was. Remember, this is the capital of Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, and guess what? <laughs> and guess what? Um, um. Athena, so, 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 Athena was the goddess of war. Right, right. Oh, see, I didn't know that. See? Yeah, she was the goddess of war. Athena, Athena was a goddess of war, and uh, 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 Nike was the goddess of victory. Victory, yeah, yeah, yeah. So those two, you know, went went uh, uh, together. Right. So that's oh, why shit. it made you know, yeah, yeah, sense yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, you got Mars yeah. Hill in Athena in Athens, which Athena is the goddess of war. Right. So it's all spiritually aligned in wickedness, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no coincidence about that. Jeremiah, yeah, yeah, that's the spirit because you know you like to bring that out too. Who's that? Jeremiah. I, every time I try to word it, I can't yeah, find it. Yeah, it's an early, early chapter, Jeremiah 2. Like yeah, yeah. 216, 221. I, I, you know, I'm just trying to find that. You know, because that's the setting. Because ain't nothing new under the sun. That's how you know. See, now the thing is, it's like the world will look at these people, you know. The world will look at this, these people. Right? And just automatically think they're Edomites yeah, because they're all given to idolatry. Oh, that's because they weren't given God's law. Yeah. Or, or they or 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 you know they, they so heathenistic that they had to be not Jews. But you, you're gonna find out that the Jews, if you will, they were more heathen. They were already a, a heathen the fuck out, Hellenistic. They came up with this shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, exactly. That's the thing. Because yeah. because the thing exactly. is, and, and that's Boy, the thing, the thing God, is that, I, that Jake has to understand is that Edom, Esau, the Edomites, they, they actually don't want to have a god over them. Right. That's the reason why they weren't really prominent in coming up with these idols. No, like, they, they were, were the idols. Right. So, the, a lot of idols that you see came from Israel, came from the Canaanites, right, yep. and the other nations. Other nations, But yep. Edom, Esau himself doesn't want another god above him. He wants to be god. So, therefore, these deities and idols were, were what? These deities and idols... Well, what were made and constructed and, and imagined because it was an imagination of Israelites living amongst what amongst the heathens, man. Right? Israelite forms. Jeremiah two twenty eight. It says, uh, "But where are the where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise, if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. Right. For according to the number of thy cities." Are thy gods, O Judah? Yeah, according to the number of thy cities, O God, Judah, are oh, 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 thy gods, exactly. right? Now, there was a lot of cities in Judah, you know. So they, but they had pretty much they had a, it, it was, it was whole full with idolatry, man. Every yeah, household had Benjamin's heavy in Catholicism, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. You go know, into neighborhoods, there's churches everywhere. Yeah. 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 Idols. Yeah. Hell yeah. You gotta give. Remember when it says possession your soul, soul goes back to your body. So when you gotta actually say, "Yes, I'm gonna devote my life and going every Sunday, I'm gonna go to that place because I believe my hope relies in that church and that building." Mm -hmm. So I gotta put my give, sacrifice my body, and sacrifice every Sunday, and then go to classes. That's idol worship. Man. Hell yeah. That's that's giving away. That's not possessing your soul. That's giving you away your souls to what. Other idols, yeah, yeah, other entities because they carry it carries energy. That's right, that shit carries energy, man. That's why I mean, yo, man, I really be wanting you Christians to come up because <laughs> you can't tell us about Christianity, man. Well, I will tell you more about Christianity than you can, man. I guarantee it. Any one of us over here, man, will tell you about Christianity more, brother. You see, real quick, brother, you see that shit. 
we grew up, like, I can tell you numerous of things as I got enlightened into yeah. the truth. When I was in my parents' home and I could see certain shit now, yeah. like, I start to identify, yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. It, it's yeah. all kind of idolatry in the Christian family home. Right. All kind of idolatry, man. Hey, brother, what I was going to say is that what you say, I, that the, the more you learn about Christianity, the more you gravitate away from Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really because you don't know that much about Christianity that you exactly. are in yeah, Christianity. Yeah, 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 exactly. But the more you study Christianity, you're like, nah, this you're ain't like, real. nah this No ain't way. Real. No way. You're not into it, though. You read that Jeremiah again? Uh, Jeremiah 2.28. Uh, but where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods of Judah. And you know for sure, now it's not written, but you know Paul had to be going to these prophets, yeah. quoting exactly what they were saying. Yeah. Just yeah. like, uh, yeah. real quick, go to Hosea 5 and 15. Come He's on. probably saying this too to everybody uh -huh. in Athens, man. Uh -huh. Just like the same thing that we speak in these times. It's no different. Yep, that's why, I said, that's why I said earlier, basically it's Mark 9 and 4 all over again. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I keep saying that, man. Ezekiel 9 and 4. That's right, that's right. You Hosea 5 and 15? Yeah, read that. Yeah, Hosea 5 and 15. Because it sounds the same. Hosea and Jeremiah are saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. It says, I will go and return to my place so they acknowledge their offense, uh, their offense mm -hmm. and seek my face and their affliction will seek me early. Right, and their affliction will seek me early. That's why the Lord's saying, Present your gods, you know. Right, can you Let provide, them deliver you. Can you provide a shot? Look up the word face. Face, yeah. It should be punya. What's that, uh, Hosea? That was Hosea 5, 15. 5, 15. 5 15. Yeah. It should be punya. Did it say, read this? Well, you said right place? Uh, no, place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, face. But I'm face. going face. Yeah. You read yeah. this? Yeah, it says, I will go and return right. to my place. Right. So they acknowledge their fits and seek my face. Right. In their affliction. They will see. They will see the early. Got you, Mark. Right. It's a uh, pun yum. <clears throat> pun yum. It says uh, face faces. Uh, when you go down, it says uh, presence uh, before and behind, toward, in front of, forward, mm -hmm. formerly, uh, from before time. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get the synonyms. It says before face presence because that's what you gotta do. Go down to where it says uh, translation count. Look at the synonyms. Right. Presence, sight, countenance. A uh, person upon against, and that's about it. Presence. Can you, uh, 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 right quick. Can you look up uh, uh, face in animal line? Uh, because the word, there's one word that I'm looking for, and if it pops up, it'll be through spirit exactly, you know what I'm saying, what we're talking about. Buck shot right quick, face. The word face is the noun, it says the human face, the face, facial appearance or expression, mm -hmm. likeness, image. That's, that's the word, image. That's the word I was looking for. See, that goes back to what we're talking about. The image of Yahweh Shemel Shah, which is spoken of in Genesis. So when the Lord said that, that you would turn and seek my face, that means you would turn and worship my image, right. which is my truth. Yeah, because no man can see the most high's face and live. There's oh, no man. way. Yeah, that's why, yeah, 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 you gotta have, you gotta have, that's why I like that scripture, uh, Psalms 137. He says, if I could get Jerusalem my cunning, let my tongue cleave to the roof right. of my mouth. That's right. Because you got because remember the most high's face is where? It's always on Jerusalem. Right. So you gotta remember Jerusalem. So right. Look at the state of Jerusalem. Look at Jerusalem to this day. You should be thinking about that. Jot that on your mind and how can you make something different? What does the scripture say? It says, uh, uh, uh give him no rest till you do what? Make Jerusalem a praise on the earth. <laughs> that's right. So you always gotta have your mind on Jerusalem. Why? Because that's the that. That's how the whatever Jerusalem is. That's how the Mosai is looking at his people. That's right. You know. That's right. Uh, verse, that. verse twenty-one. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but to either tell or to hear some new new thing. Right. Then Paul, then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill. That's why the majority of our people they just stop and listen for a while and just keep going. Yeah. You know, they just want to get what they want and then. And yet, keep it going, and you know? yet, when there's a back and forth debate, that's when people gravitate that's towards it. Because it's that back and forth. And that's why Mars Hill was Mars Hill. Because at the end of the day, man, when, when it comes to belief, it all comes down to men having to contend against men. And that's why I made a video about what? Contention in the marketplaces, you know, how you shouldn't fear that. Because 
at the end of the day, how do you truly believe? How do you? It's really going to be manifested how what you if you truly believe what you win when you are actually out there contending against a man who believes the contrary to what you believe. That heated exchange is something that has never that has not changed for thousands of years. What what we what you see out here in the highways and the edges now that heated exchange between men. It's the same human exchange that happened 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years ago. That's why it's imperative that you go out in the, in the highways and the edges and that you meet people. And that you, condemn with, that you contend with doctrines, man. That is never going away, man. It's still the prominent way of, of what? Of, of pushing what you believe, man. Yeah. Encouraging, encouraging the truth. Bringing the truth to the forefront. Because at the end of the day, somebody's going to have the truth. You know? right. And somebody's going to come against your truth. So you can't be afraid to be out there and, and contend with that individual, man. Come, verse 22. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription. Like, if I say this superstition, it goes back to an, 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 the imagination you can look up the word, but they, pretty much it goes back to the imagination of for every situation, there's a God that did it. And when you look at these movies like uh, Troy, and you see, the, especially the new Troy Netflix, you see how uh, uh, the, the, Greek, the Greek king, how in order to uh, uh, go through the seas, right, to go and fight Troy, they had to give a sacrifice. They believe they had to give a sacrifice to uh, Artemis, right, right? Artemis, which is another name for Artemis is uh, Diana. Of, of, uh, of the, uh, the Ephesians, and he literally slit, he literally slit his daughter's throat as a sacrifice to give to Artemis so that the waves could calm down. So everything that, oh, oh the, winds are, the winds are high, Zeus is doing it. You know, the waters, the waves, and we're, oh, that's, that's this guy. Yeah, oh, this happened, oh, that's this guy. And you end up making 20 sacrifices in one day. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's that superstition, man. Yeah, they were calling Paul uh, superstitious. Why? Because he said, because essentially that's what, really what Paul Paul was basically saying that uh what to them they looked at it and said look the, 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 there's one power controlling everything you know kind of verse uh read the one devotion again yep uh, verse twenty three for as I passed by I be and beheld your devotions. I found an altar with this inscription. Right, so Paul actually, he witnessed, he actually saw them going through the motions of it. When you go to Edom Online Devotions, it says, uh, from old French to 13th century, devotion, piety, from Latin, devotum, mm. um, to dedicate by a vow, sacrifice oneself, pro promise solemnly. Mm. Yeah. Now, that's just like Cornelius. It said Cornelius was a devout man. That's right. When you look up devout, it says pious, devoted, a city is uh, devoted, and then at the bottom it says dedicated by vow, seed devotion. Yeah. So they were wholly committed to it. You know, they were making sacrifices. Who knows what the hell is Jacob? Yeah. Doing, he, right? well, well, Paul, Paul witnessed. Oh, uh, uh, it was a, basically a writing on one of the idols that he mm -hmm. came when he came in and he saw, yeah. and that, that's why he's relate. He's relating one of their idols unto the Most High, saying, "Look, you already don't even know what you that you worshiping, because yeah. that's that's the spirit. That's the scripture. Uh, real quick, what's the uh, uh, because remember he said I use God, so yeah, uh, to, 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 yeah because yeah. basically Paul's yeah. relating their gods mm -hmm. to the Most High to Yahweh yeah. Shem yeah. Yahweh like look you don't even know you worshiping yeah yeah he's, he's putting them in a trick bag yeah. yep yep it says uh, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God whom therefore ye ignorantly worship him mm -hmm. declare I unto you yeah he's just right. he's preparing yeah 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 that's all he did he 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 mind. Jam though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He got yeah, yeah. He just all he got because he understood that. Oh, okay. I know you Greeks and you are uh, Ephesians and so on, Athenians. The, the, you're known to have multiple Some gods, words. but since you put everything into one single god, then it be yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you, you know, once they, they yeah. once they were able to condense it into one power. Paul was like, I got you. Got you. <laughs> you know, you gotta look for it's it's a description is a gin and a sniff. You know? You can you, 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 you gotta use it. Second Corinthians uh, twelve and sixteen it says, uh, but be it so, I did not burden you, nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with God. Yeah, <laughs> being crafty, yeah. that I caught you with God. 
But okay. let's take it. Uh, that's one of the gifts that um, Y'all by Shimon's Yahweh Shah. That's one of the gifts that Yahweh Shah gave when he uh, uh, ascended into the heavens. The scripture said when he ascended into the heavens, many gifts were given. You know, and part of those gifts is being crafty. I mean, brothers, you know, if you go back to a lot of the conversation that you had, you know, you would find out that there's certain things that, that you, in a conversation, there's certain things, there's certain exact, example, how many times in trying to uh, 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 show a Jake that he's that he doesn't know what he's talking about, how many times did you find yourself, quote, unquote, exaggerating the story? And then Jake was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, because Jake does that all the time. You notice that. That's one of the things that Israel does. You, you might exaggerate the story. Trying to bring the white back, put that hook on him. Put that oh, hook on him. That's the other one, Salafi, bro. My bad, my bad. Um, I mean, cut you off. The other know. ones are, um, what's that? Uh, second Corinthians. Yeah, I think. It's, what did you just read? Second Corinthians twelve. Six. Yeah. Okay, read six. Oh, 16, yeah, yeah, 12 or 16. The other one is, uh, he said, uh, unto the Jew I became a Jew. Yeah. Unto the, the Greek I became a Greek. Yeah. I thought right. I had it already written. I get this piece right quick. This is Romans chapter 12, going back to uh, the word devout. Uh, the, which is devotion or dedication. 20, 20. Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Yashah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable one to Yahweh Hashem Yashah, which is a reasonable service. And that scripture pretty much, for some, that scripture up, it means devotion. And, and when you're devoted to something, that means you give your all to it. And the only way is to what? Is to remove anything else that's satisfactory to your own self and, be, and say, you know what? I'm going to be all about that God. Right. 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 Come, verse 24. What about the yep. first uh, Corinthians 9 20? Oh, come. It's locked down. You got it? Let's just really get it again. First uh, Corinthians 9, verse 20. It says, And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, mm. that I might gain the Jews, mm. to them that were. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to the Most High, but under the law to, to the anointed, that I might gain them that are without law. All right? To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the point, you know, because right. that's the main point. When he had to become a Greek. Yeah, yeah, more yeah, yeah. So, Go ahead. It says, I made all things to all men. Yeah. That I might, by all means, save some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and, that, and through, through this occurrence, you want to see that he saved some. Mm -hmm. Just by saying those things. Like, hmm, he, he, he tricked their brain because he know they believe in bullshit. Exactly. You know, so he kind of like... He hit a switch to see. He turned the lights on to see who was there, still there. Like, right. like, like yeah, I was I would say, yo, take these muffins, eat my body. Eat my body. Yeah, he was yeah, like, what? Yeah, nah, yeah. I ain't fine. This dude crazy, yo. <laughs> you can have his breath back here. Yeah, I'm out, though. Yeah, yeah. But the other was like, hold up, nah. This, 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 I understand. I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. You know. Right. Right. Uh, verse twenty-four. It says, yeah, how would that made lock you? And made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, well, if not in temples made with hands. Neither, he just quoted the scripture. That's it. He just quoted the scripture. You know, from the Old Testament. All right? That's going back to the uh, Kings, second, um, first Kings, the eighth, the eighth chapter. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, up. Neither is worship with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life. And breath and all things. And that's when he started to go further into detail. Right. And have made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. And have determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Yeah, right. well, these are all basically, that's that's all dark sentences, man. Those, right. are, those are stumbling blocks right there, man. And right. Why? Because really, you got to understand the spirit of the Lord. That's all it boils down to. Because this is, it's the same way that if now, you know, that's why it's so imperative, that's why it's so beautiful that we actually have these first-hand counters, examples of what the scriptures is, because we know how we bond, man. You know, Paul just started just, you know, just, you know, going back and forth, double-dutching with him. Like, you know, they, they, they was, he was just laying it on him, man. Exactly. And his spirit was just flowing, man. Exactly. You know, so, and he said what he said. Now, everybody knew that the Jews were for the Jews. Right. You know, so if 
if he's saying that all people, all men on earth, it has to be because it's already been said enough. That's right. <laughs> you know, that's what it boils down to, man. In the Old Testament, all throughout the scriptures, it's always been said that salvation was for Israel. That's right. You know, he doesn't have to say all that. He just said what he said because it was it, it fit. Right. <laughs> that's and, it. And guess who's in the midst? Israelites. Exactly. Of course. Yep. Yeah. So, you know. Yep. And uh, one thing too, it says, it has um, verse twenty six. It says, it has determined the times before appointed. That's prophecy. Right. And it, 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 through spirit, ain't no, ain't no other nations around. Them. Like you know, I believe that. I just say that I speak yeah, as a man. I don't think there's no other nations around. It was Israelite. It's straight is just yeah, like a different belief of philosophy. Right. That's why I like that's why I like I wanted to use that example of, of what you see today, Lexington Market. You go anywhere in New York, New Jersey, the tri any anywhere, Maryland, yeah. DC, that's anywhere right. really, you know, you have a bulk of Jake doing the same thing. Yeah, can I say and this thing too? Um one of the reasons why we know that through spirit is because you gotta understand the nature of Jake. Yeah. The nature of Jake was superstition is as what? Superstition is going back to faith. Because even the beast, to be superstitious, you gotta have a, a some faith. Some type of faith. Some type of faith. So Jake is known to have faith on things that they can't prove with evidence, right. which is faith, right? Right. That's not Esau's nature. Nah. Anything that Esau can't prove, he ain't walking with. Anything he can't scientifically prove, he ain't walking with. He feels with. he has rulership over. Right. So that's Jake. It's, it's Jake that does that. Well, you know what? Even though the I can't see it, right, I, even though I, can't I fear see it. it. I fear it. The reason why the waves are, are, are rolling is because of this guy's. Yeah. Can I prove it? No, I just know that's what it is. <laughs> right, right. That's, that's Jake, man. That's not uh, Esau. Yeah. Hell no, that ain't Esau. Esau, because Esau. Not really either, no, no, no. Because Esau will go and try to conquer it, man. That's right. You know, I'm going to, you know, see that right there? You know, they don't say hell. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, I'm just saying. But that's why they go out in the deep. Like, Jake know, like, okay, that's spiritual. Like, that's not right. to go out in the deep in the ocean. That's right. Esau won't go out there on a, on, hey, bro, we're just the water. You know, we're just yeah. out here. Like, this is yeah. on a surfboard, just way out. Jake, like, how am I ain't doing that shit? Man, crazy. Because yeah. they believe, they know it's something out that's there. Right. Like, that's right. Esau, that's like, right. nah, man, it's just me. Like, <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. See, bro, ain't nothing. It was in Jake's spirit, not the tempt the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or not to tempt any God that they believe. believe. Yeah, yeah. Any God they you know, made. Yeah. Any God that they made. You yeah, know, yeah. Like you said, it starts with not to tempt the Lord. Same thing. Look, these Jakes weren't trying to tempt Athena. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They weren't trying to tempt Athena. They believed, they knew that before they went to war, they got to give sacrifices to Athena or they was going to die and get their ass whooped, man. <laughs> bird signs. I mean, Chris Hector said that. It's a bird signs. You trust bird signs? I just seen a man throw a javelin from 40 yards away. Bird signs. Like, that was niggas. They had the fringes on with border of blue in that movie, man. Bird signs. He was pissed off. Like, I'm a warrior. I could die out here because you're fucking bird signs. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Uh, verse 26, and have made of one blood all nations of men, but to dwell on all the face of the earth, and have determined the times before appointed, in the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, if haply they might feel after him, and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Yeah, see, see, because that's what that was the that was their idea, that was their image back then of, of an entity that they can't see. You know, although he was close. But when Salah can give me that again. And those nations are talking about the tribes, not That's talking right. about everybody on earth. And That's then look right. it up, it says That's ethnos. Right. Right. One of the definitions under there that Esau put amongst the other bones, all right, the stuff that, that's disinformation, right. is the word tribes, you know, a family of people. That's right. That's why we were saying it has to, it had to be just Israelites there, you yeah. know. Yeah, ethnicity, you know. Paul knew. Paul knew that he was going to go teach Israelites. No matter what they look like, that's what Paul was commissioned to do, you know, to teach Israelites. He didn't switch it up from Yahweh Shah. That's what Yahweh Shah came to do. Exactly. Teach Israelites. The chief so cornerstone. Whenever you see all or whosoever, it has to be talking about Israelites. That's right. And, unless it's like some super, super judgment, indignation, you know, then what? Then you know the heathen comes into play because that's what all the prophecies say. All right. That's why the scripture talk about he that believed on the record of the Lord, man. You know, he that believed on me. Uh, as the scripture has says, you know, there's a difference. You got people out there that believe in the scriptures, but they don't believe on the record. You have to get the record. That's how you know what's next. You know, 
Because the record, that's basically the blueprint. How you gonna go out and build, you don't know, you don't got the proper blueprint. Blueprint. You know? Uh, verse 27, that they should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after him, and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Yeah, see, though he be not be, be not far from every one of us. Because mm -hmm. Jake, that really, Paul could have said, I ain't superstitious, you stupid superstitious. But that's but what he, he said, played, he played upon that. Yeah, you know? that's what he said. He actually told him that, I believe that, uh, 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 you're too superstitious. That's what he told him. That's what he told him. Right. He told him, y'all are, are superstitious. Hold on. I th so yeah, so they, they told Paul that? No, nah, no. Nah, that's what Paul told them. Right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, that's right, right, what right. Paul that called. I spoke earlier. So right, right. That, that's, that's Paul who told him that. Right, right, that right. You're being too superstitious. Why? Because of, remember what I said earlier, the multiple gods right. for the multiple events that are happening throughout the day. And it's like, come on, man. Like, the ways are wrong because the wind and, you know, the process. Yeah, of course, it's all your how about Shimei Amshah. And they gave different deity oh, to I, different... Yeah, yeah, that, that makes more sense. Anyway. That's when yeah, he was yeah. like, yo, y'all superstitious. You're making up gods for every fucking thing that's going on. Uh, uh, verse 28. For in him we live and move and have our being. Read uh, 27 again now. 27. That they should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after him, and find him, Though he be not far from every one of us. Right. That's why he said previously, yeah, get that. That's why he said previously in the chapter that uh, he dwelt not in temples made with hands. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I was looking for the precept where he said, uh, well, get that one. And then the king said, the kingdom of heaven dwelleth within you. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, that's why Paul was going hard about uh, keeping faith. You know, because Jake was so in the motion, just going through the works, keeping works, sacrifices, this and that. It was all about the faith, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Because we became that temple, that altar. Through, through, through the words that we bring out, this doctrine. You got that? Yeah, um, uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and I'm sorry, 18, it says, uh, Free fornication, every sin that a man doeth is without the body. Mm -hmm. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? It says, What? Question mark. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which he has. Right, that's why he said he be not far from us. We got the Holy Spirit. That's right. Uh, it says, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, ye are not your own. For ye are brought with a price, therefore glorify Yahweh in your body and in your spirit, which are Yahweh's. Right, which we, they weren't doing that in Athens. They true. weren't glorifying them in, in, in their body. Yeah, and the scripture said you're not your own. And that's that's what it means. That That's the reason why when you, when you yeah, come and worship the Lord, you understand that. Sense. You don't belong to yourself. It's not about satisfying yourself anymore. You know, it's about satisfying your power. You know, and Jake understood. See, Jake understood. That's the thing, man. Jake, Jake understood the process of worshiping a God when it came to every other God but Yahweh. You know, Jake understood they had to give their all to Athena. Athena. They were regularly putting up sacrifices to these gods, constantly, but with, 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 with dedication. But well, the Lord is like, hold up, that's the dedication that I'm looking for, and you're giving that away to these uh, false gods. But when it comes to doing it towards me, you ain't doing shit, man. Luke 17 and 20, it says, read the Acts again. 27. Acts 17 and 20. This is Acts 17, verse 27, that they should seek the Lord and happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Right, read that. Yeah, um, Luke 17 and 20 says, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees. Wait, what, that was 324, right? Uh, verse 24. Mm -hmm. Most high that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, well, if not in temples made with hands. Yeah, yeah, I read that. Uh, Luke 17 20 says, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Yahweh should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of Yahweh cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is in you. It's that simple. It's that yeah, simple. It's heaven. Because uh, if I'm not mistaken, observation all but goes back to your eyes. Uh, uh, observing, yeah. Yeah, it goes back to actually well, the, physically. The word there would be in the Hebrew would be shamar. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, to, to watch a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That was that was the point, you know. Pick, you can pick up uh, uh, twenty eight. Uh, 
Oh, verse 28. For in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said. For we are also his offspring. You know what really brings us to life when you watch is that scene, man. I'll never forget that scene in uh, uh, the Kingdom Empire AD mm -hmm. when Paul marched in to Caiaphas yeah. and said, what are you doing in this temple? Why are you even here? There's no need yeah. for any of this. Yeah, you know? yeah. You see so the way that he was going hard and saying yeah, that? Brothers got to see saying. that scene, man. That's what really brings us to life right here, you know? And, and, and that was, like you said, what you said, uh, 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 Zaquan, is, is so powerful because remember, James was trying to work his way into yeah, trying, trying to be to peaceful, make it, yeah, yeah. peaceful with, oh, man, we don't need all that crap. Right. But who knows if James was like that anyway? You know, well, I mean, from what I can say, from what, yeah, 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 but you know, you yeah, still yeah. had those kind of spirits, though. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, kind of trying to mellow things out. Yeah, not everybody was like, ah, fuck all that. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I was like, yeah, and ultimately, fuck all that. But if we could be at peace somewhat, we could kind of like, you know, use them, you it's know, different spirits, you know, mm -hmm. use them a little bit, you know, say to grab to get more souls, you know. So yeah, it's just like the scripture always speaks about when you read the scripture, it's about. Different perspective of the same truth. Yeah, but mm -hmm. and, and the other thing, and, yeah, you saw like Jake. All right, you can be see Jake can be loud and so called articulate at the same time. Mm -hmm. See, Esau can't do that shit, so he portrays it as, as such. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like so Paul's just oh fuck that. You know, what I mean? no Paul. He was he was, he was loud, but he said though I be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. That's right. That's why he talked about uh, uh the great uh, uh, um, one, two, no, no, uh, uh, um, I think it's. It's in Corinthians, you know. Basically, he said he said pretty much, um, uh, 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 uh you know, that he didn't get, just get it. You know, uh, two and one, First Corinthians two and one, I believe it is. Oh, shot. This First Corinthians two and one, and I, brethren, when I came to you, yeah. mm -hmm. came not with excellency of speech, nor of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High. Right, keep going. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah, but and, and, and the thing is, now when he's saying that, it's not like he wasn't just saying Jesus, Jesus, so called Jesus, whatever. He wasn't just saying like just forcing it. He was actually quoting scriptures and backing up with other scriptures and talking mm -hmm. about history and, mm -hmm. and things that happened prior, man. Talking about what happened in Jerusalem with Yahweh Shai and the disciples. Right. He just kept. He was going. He was articulating with scriptures, although he did not. He didn't use the other the wisdom of the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. He just came, he broke stuff down, man. That's right. You know? Hey man, that's how you know who the men of the Lord are today, man. That's right. You know why? Hey, you start with the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, man, because that's how we came in. We seen it from that perspective. You seen the apostles getting loud. Because that I'll be real. When I first seen GMS, I was like, man, these dudes kind of sloppy. You know, I was like, damn, like yeah, it's crazy. Chaotic. It looked it looked look chaotic. chaotic. It looked chaotic, but it's just, no, but it's all in order, man. Yeah, it it's is. all in order in the spirit, man. Yeah, because it was it was a lot of it was a lot of uh, name calling. Like, man, they keep calling these names. Like, I'm not understanding. Like, it seemed like it was all over the place. But then you're like, man, these guys is wicked. I'm glad they're saying these names. <laughs> and, and the thing <laughs> is, brother, remember what I said earlier that what the apostles are I mean, doing and what we, we learn from the apostles that yeah. way of a contention. Like I said, that's how it was going down to Mars Hill, man. Mm -hmm. You go back. That, that contention where it looks chaotic, remember, the more you read on the verse, it, it tells you, I think it's in Ephesians, where it got so riled up that, uh, 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 the, uh, the, 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 uh, who was that, the Romans or the Greeks, the rulers, uh, uh, they was like, yo, we gotta shut this down before the rulers come and shut the whole shit down. Why? Because it was, it was, it was fiery. It was contention. So it's, it's something, like I said, the way our apostles taught us, this is how the word is supposed to, that's how it's supposed to go. Intention and, it, and it's gonna look chaotic at times, but remember, it's all about spiritual ears able to, 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 to decipher who's telling the yeah. truth and who's telling the lie. Yeah, yeah, because you got the other other Hebrew Israelite camps, the way they conduct, and it's like in a super duper order kind of fashion. Like you know, it's too it's too practical. dry, man. Yeah, yeah, very practical. It's timed. When the dude said, "Well, listen, when you remember IUIC." Teaching them how to speak your camp and stuff. Right, like, right. When he says this, you're going to do this and you're going to like. I should have bought man. that DVD. Uh, the DVD, the old girl, she told me, she said, if comfy in them, they don't read the, watch the DVD. Like, whatever officer that got ranked, you wasn't allowed to speak. Like, Vince, if you came over and asked the questions yeah. off random, yeah. if you didn't answer the same way it was on that DVD, you wasn't allowed to answer. Yeah. And that's all. He, it's him just breaking it down. You have to repeat it the same way he says it. 
Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not scriptural because like I said, when you read Matthews, Luke, and Mark, they saying the same thing, but they seeing the same thing and they're speaking of the same thing, but the way they're going about it is from different perspectives. Yeah. They're not my Matthew, Mark, and they're not saying exactly, literally the same exact words. But they all talking about the same but thing it's crazy. from a, a, a different perspective. That's heavy. Yeah, yeah. All, all these other camps do that shit. All of y'all do that shit. All, all them other camps do that shit. They, they practice and rehearse what to say. But that's crazy because the Heavenly Father is, is 360 degrees, right? That You know what that means? It's called multiple angles. So the Haobah Shimei Oshai has multiple angles. So... This truth is going to be seen from multiple angles, but yeah. it's the same truth. So you can't just have one way of doing Come on. That's man. what makes it so exciting. It keeps going. Man. Don't yeah. stop. Yeah. Don't yeah. stop. Yeah, come on. Open waters. Yeah, that. Uh, that was it. That was the point. Come on. This is Acts 17 and 29. For as, much as, for as much then as we are the offspring of the Most High, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. Right, because mm. the Godhead is talking about Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is not art. He's not. He's not. A, he's not an image. That's don't right. don't look for something physical. That he's basically saying, right. you know, Yahweh Shah is going to speak in the spirit. That's hey, that's that that's First Corinthians the, the second chapter again. You know, the, right. the scripture says the spirit is teach of expressively. He said that the natural man knoweth not the things that the, that the man of the spirit knows, man. You know, you can't, because the natural man wants to see, he wants to see it in front of him. Paul is basically teaching him how to be spiritual, that's understand right. things from a spiritual perspective. That's right. Because that's exactly the opposite of what was going on back then, because you read that 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, he said, that he had to come with entice and words, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But the, the people that were in Athens and on Mars Hill, that's all the fuck they knew. That's all they knew was, exactly. was articulate words and great, yeah. or, great, yeah. great yeah. oritation. Eloquency. And Eloquency. Speech. That's all they knew. Cause somebody use a bigger word or yeah. you know and you hey, see buddy, that too I told you about uh, shabazz he tell you he, first statement the earth weighs six yeah. foot seven tone yeah. tell you and this you're like what the fuck? yeah brother, I, you know, brother <laughs> i seen dudes like that from young man like you know dudes yeah the moon this that and the third is, is that that far is so many miles of light you know they tell you the speed of light and, and they believe that yeah, shit. And it's a man. philosophy yeah, and, it, and it's yeah. like a common knowledge like yeah, that, it gotta be them people man yeah they call it pseudo uh pseudo intellectual right like pseudo meaning fake uh intellect intel goes back to information you know intel is information or data meaning they have they are teachers of false data yeah that's it yeah shit you know you yeah yeah Come, verse 30. In the times of this ignorance, the Most High wait that, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Right, that's why he, because he mentioned that those things in the flesh. It was heavy because the elder brought out a scripture, something that was going right along those lines, where, you know, basically the flesh, you know, you're only going to get away with so much. Mm -hmm. You know? But see, it was the time where the Lord winked at it, and now he, you know, he paying attention. You know, uh, uh, more clearer. Like you know, you only gonna get away with but so much now. So much yeah. is given, much is required. And the sharpest shot say that uh, the the main thing that he said out of it is what time. It's about ultimately it's about times and seasons. The heavenly father would would wink because of the time. If it's not time for the gathering, then he, he is gonna wink because it's not the time. But when it's the time for the gathering, then he's not gonna wink. Because the Heavenly Father says he operates according to time and seasons. So when you know, okay, this is no longer the season to be bullshitting, you can't bullshit. Lay it simple. Yeah, when it says all men everywhere to repent, it's exactly that. Repent is uh, with what? Deep sorrow for sin. Right. The only people that can have deep sorrow for sin is Israel. So that links right. up with the uh, ethnos, as Mr. Kwan uh, said earlier. It's only given to a, a specific group of people. All right? Verse 31, because he have appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he have ordained, whereof he have given assurance unto all men, and that he have raised him from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, and others said, We will hear thee again of this matter. So Paul departed from among them, Albeit certain men clave unto him and believed, 
among the which was Dionysius, an Areopagite, and a, and a woman named Damaris, and others with them. All these people are back. Yeah. I got three cents, All these man. people are back. This is Second Chronicles chapter 36 and 16. It says, that they mocked the messages of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till so there was no remedy. Uh, Second Chronicles 36 and 16. So you, you've always had the nation of Israel mocking the men of the Lord, the messages of the Lord, and misusing this and killing the prophets. But the wrath of the Lord is coming because remember, it's about time and seasons. It's particularly now, we living into the end. We living in the end of Esau's age. So that we living in the time of the wrath of the Lord. That's why, like we said, we expected now to no longer just see one or two people die or three people die a day. Now we're going to start to see what a massive number of people be taken out. You know, you hear, you turn on the news, 20,000 people, you know, or 5,000 people. That's the wrath of the Lord. He's not just killing one, two, three. He's just taking a number. Making you know? statements. Making statements. Making big moves, man. Where, to the point where Jake is going to be like, oh, shit. This is the most high movement. Right, that's the wrath of the Lord, man. Precept. Uh, first, uh, like second Ezra 1, 32, it says, I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, whom he had taken and slain and tore their bodies in pieces, whose mm. blood I will require of your hands, saith the Lord. And his blood is going to be required at your hands. Yeah, right. they say, yeah, they say it's, 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 uh, most high going to use Esau first. Yeah. You know, he's going to use Esau, you know. So what? Yeah, yeah, he's going to use his, he, most high, he said, the scripture said he bath not the sword in vain. That's right. <laughs> but that, that goes into uh, what uh, Isaiah 10 and 5. It says, um, I will send me upon the rod. I send me upon the hypocritical nation. Right. 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 And that's that's he talking about Edom Esau. Or oh, why? But to destroy the nation of Israel, yeah. two thirds, man. So when oh, that's what you brother, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Man. Puerto Rico getting taxed right now. Boy. Yeah, man. And you just you, you silly stupid dubs get, man. Yeah. You know, hey man, it yeah. is what it is. And they see and you see it's getting closer and closer to America. Remember that's you right. had, you know, South America, you know, Central Mexico, they you know, they've been going to war, but yeah, Venezuela's three. Yeah, yeah, you know, up in that area, Brazil and all that, up. that was coming up, but you know, it's heavy too, because the scriptures, when you go in, that's, uh, hey, um, you know, um, matter of fact, let me just get it real quick, uh, the uh, prophecy on uh, Ephraim, uh, Genesis 49, Genesis mm -hmm. 49, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, Genesis, was it, uh, 49 and, yeah, Ephraim, you were the head tribe of uh, the northern king, right? So it's not surprising that you're getting whacked. Yeah, and, so, and, and the heavy thing about crushed. and the heavy thing about Ephraim is what that Hosea idols, man. yeah, fucking idol yeah, worshippers, yeah, man. Yeah, big time. Ephraim, big you, time. you're the biggest fucking idol worshippers, man. Big they niggas love themselves, man. Ephraimites love themselves. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, I mean they don't want. Oh, when you go back to uh, 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 Exodus, the Northern Kingdom started with Ephraim. They're the one who put pressure on Aaron. Most when you go into the scripture, it tells you that, that it, it tells you that the house of Ephraim put immense pressure on, on Aaron, and then that's when he caved in. You know, all the tribes was you know went along with it, but it tells you about with Ephraim how Aaron was like overwhelmed. You know? They're obnoxious sons of bitches. That's why, man. Ephraim was in the school. You said what? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he got weak. Good. He got weak. He got overwhelmed too. He got overwhelmed. Got it out? Yeah, 22, 49 and 22. Um, it says, Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well whose branches run over the wall. See, yeah, a fruitful well whose branches run over the wall. Yeah. So when you see Ephraim get hit, we're talking about one side of the wall. Yeah, yeah. This is, the structure is on, on the other side of the wall right now, right. man. Right. All right? Because that's what those branches represent. Represent mm -hmm. Ephraim coming over to America, man. Right, because branches are like, uh, uh, branches... Can be used uh, as um, bridges to bridge, oh, yeah. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to bridge over. Yeah. Remember, you can you can climb over a wall through what? A tree. Yeah. Branches. 
it's some and you know the different some like bamboo yeah, rows. Yeah, curve Yeah, yeah, on, all yeah. into the wall. You can climb yeah. using that. That's right. If it's a branch from a particular vine, you can put it in the ground and it'll start growing again. That's what Ephraim does, man. <laughs> curve it, they drop. They just the seeds is it's everywhere, man. Yeah. Right. Huh. Uh, verse 23 says, The archers have surely grieved him and shot see, at him. See, the archers have surely grieved at him, man. All right? Then we seeing that right now, man. All right, on the other side of that wall. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we know that, that that thing that happened in Puerto Rico, that's, that was weather uh, uh, um, 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 modification. It was geo, uh, what's that? Yeah, the hawk. That's what it was. That, that shit was man made. His Esau whipped, he whipped those things back to back. You know, of course, we all know it's through, you know, your how about you know, shot, but that's Esau, uh, 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 like the movie Geostorm. He's able to manufacture uh, 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 tornadoes and hurricanes and, and typhoons. You know, that's you know, him being part of being a sword of being a rod of to of correction. You know, say, oh, how about you know, oh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, because essentially America, that shit is part of America, man, <laughs> so to speak. Right. You know, but that wouldn't be going on. Like, like that was on mainstream media and news here. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know that that but that's what you silly doves get, man. Cause them niggas swell up and down. They white, man. Fucking spick niggas. You know. Come on, man. It says the archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him, but his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong. By the hands of the mighty power of Jacob. See? From thence is the shepherd the stone of Israel. Come. That's right. That's right. Yeah, the stone of Israel, that's the Yahweh Shah. Right. Right. All right? Because Ephraim going to raise up. You're going to have 12,000 Ephraimites going to raise up. You know? Yeah. That's right. They, they might not all look like Ephraimites. Right. Yep. They might look like uh, Filipinos. Yeah. It's, it's, they might look like Samoans. Yeah. Yeah. See? That's why that's why it's imperative to be spiritual because when yeah. you, that's why the heavenly father he said it you know he, i will work i will uh, work a work in your days you know which you would not believe even though it would be uh, told me and that's going to be a huge blinder because you know it's going to oh, happen you have a lot of people to see these israelite foreigners claiming that they're from their tribes you might have a moabite that somebody that looks like a moabite yeah, yeah. from the tribe of Nephtali or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. he's bringing out the word and, and a person said i'm not gonna believe you you don't even look like that yeah that's the stumbling that's, that's block that's gonna happen you. you're gonna, gonna have the israelite foreigners out there bringing out the that's word like happen. no i'm not gonna believe you that's not that's you know? gonna happen Absolutely. and that's beautiful we need that that's right we really need that that's the house shot he's he's that's him being the stone the stone of stumbling mm -hmm. that's the house shot all right i can got any precepts Seventeen. I don't want to rock this off. You're still here next week. Are right, we gonna go through uh, Acts eighteen? Or if the Spirit makes us leap onto something else. We'll do that. You know, sometimes the Spirit we don't always stick to uh, Acts. You know, sometimes things get real hot. We gotta speak on it. Man. So, uh, whatever the uh, by Rakhak by Dash wills, that's what it's gonna be. So, uh, of course, all praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rakhak Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, all right, that's his proper Hebrew name, Yahweh Shai is his son. Are right, you going to always hear those names, you're going to always hear us give praises to them. All right, peace and blessings to you, like the Israel out there that tune into these videos. We know and we pray you were edified and double honors to our elders and apostles in these times known as Great Millstones, soon to just be revealed as the men of the Lord. All right, Shalom. 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 Shalom.